welcome to the Wageo channel. So today we'll be talking about teaching English online and my personal top 5 tips for any new teachers. Before I get started, just remember to please like and subscribe if you want to be updated with our weekly videos. Teaching online can be a daunting experience for any new teachers, even for experienced teachers. I still get nervous every time before the class. So don't worry, it is normal to be nervous and anxious. From connection errors to disinterested students, starting a new telecommuting teaching job isn't always the easiest. So with that in mind, here are my top five tips for any new teachers or for those first time jitters. Here we go. So tip number one, your environment. Yeah, a good place to work is an absolute must if you're a newbie online teacher or basically any online teacher, <laughs> no matter which level, your environment is crucial. Especially if the students are young, it can get quite noisy. So be considerate of your environment and when you're working. So I actually got my first warning from a neighbor who lives two doors down asking me to please keep it down. She doesn't want to hear the hello, how are you song at 7 o'clock in the morning. So be considerate. In regards to your internet connection, stick to cable, it's the most reliable. If something does go wrong, have your Wi-Fi as a backup. Also, I have software data as a backup as well, in case anything goes wrong. Fingers crossed, I think it was wrong. If something does, the admin for the company is incredible and they will help you with anything. So, don't worry about that. Okay, so tip number two. Use your hands. Now it's very difficult when you are not physically interacting with the students. It helps to engage using hand movements. T P R. Total physical response. Number three. Let them talk. Now this is a recurring problem when it comes to teaching and that is when a teacher talks too often. You have an opportunity to make it very exciting and engaging. Tip number four, keep it fresh. Doing the same thing over and over again can become very boring and dry very quickly, especially if you are teaching one particular class week after week. Just try to imagine it yourself at the receiving end of the lesson. If your employer allows it, try and change the lesson up to keep it exciting and engaging for the student. Tip number five, be positive. Children don't react well to grumpy adults. Whatever negativity you are harboring, just leave it outside the classroom. Once you step into that classroom, you have to go into your teaching mode by creating your teaching personality. And I hope you enjoy my top five tips for new teachers or experienced teachers. Before I go, please like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Every week we'll have new videos coming up. 